Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. For those of you who celebrate, I wanted to wish you a happy Easter, and for those of you who don't, I am wishing you a happy weekend. So I previously did a paint pour on this egg. It's a wooden um, Easter egg shape, and it actually it has a rope, but I've taped it down to the back so it doesn't get paint on it. But unfortunately, after it dried and I stored it, a piece of paper got set on top of it and I didn't realize it, so it kind of left a residue. So I had to kind of clean it off and then I gessoed over it and I decided I would go ahead and do another paint pour on it. I will link that video in the description if you'd like to see the previous paint pour. I actually really liked it a lot, um, but I figured, hey, this is an opportunity to do another cool painting on it. So I'm actually going to be using Hippie Crafter paint. These are their pre-mixed pouring paints. As always, I will link all of my paint colors in the description. The only time I don't do that is if I'm using leftover paint and I'm not sure what colors were in there, but usually I take a pretty close guess. But I am using metallic scarlet, scarlet, metallic purple, and metallic blue. I am also using white Artist Loft Flow Acrylic because I've already used all of my white from this. If you'd like to see my review on the Hippie Crafter paints, uh, I will link that in the description as well. So I actually thought it would be fun to do something I haven't done in a while, because usually on, especially like an Easter egg, a ribbon pour makes a lot of sense because you can kind of go back and forth. That's what I did on this before. Um, and you can kind of make it look like lines all the way around the Easter egg. It gives a little bit of cool dimension. But since I've already done that, I wanted to try an open cup pour. I actually have, <laughs> this is an empty kind of tape spool. And I figured it'd be nice because I tend to like a smaller size cup for this type of pour. And this seems like it would do the trick. So it's kind of an experiment, but we'll have to just see how it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and start pouring.
Okay, so some parts of the pouring had to get sped up because I had to pause a little bit. I got some messages from someone I was waiting to talk to. Um, so that looked a little bit different than what I usually do for my footage. And then also I was struggling with it kind of wanting to move this way. So I ended up putting a popsicle stick under this side. My desk is not level, but I do have kind of a special setup with the cups where the ones on this side are a little bit raised, but it just wasn't enough this time. I also struggled with this shape because I realized that this indentation kept um, resealing it to the surface, whereas with an open cup, you need it to kind of like lift. So I had to keep lifting it myself to get that effect. And I'm not seeing a lot of cells, but I do want to try using my torch and see if that'll bring anything out because I see a couple. Either way, this is super pretty. Okay, so the torch brought out a couple little tiny ones, and blowing on it also did that. So I think this is about all I can do right now. I don't want to burn the paint because that can make some weird effects or, you know, you just don't want to mess with that. But I am going to let it sit for a little while, and then we will come back and take a closer look. Okay, so this looks a little different. Um, <laughs> accidentally, so while I had the camera off, I tried to blow on it a little bit more just to get some more cells and accidentally kind of moved some of the paint down here. And it just looked silly to have like a little kind of flare. So I kind of did it in a line all the way up here to try to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, uniform or intentional. I also leaned into the painting down here as Many of you who have maybe a larger chest could understand. Um, and so I ended up having to tilt it back this way a little bit to get some paint to run off. So it definitely, I wish, I wish a lot of that had been on camera so you could have at least seen the process, but that's kind of what happened. So let's take a closer look because I think it looks pretty cool actually. So starting up here, you can see the white with some of the little white cells, and I really love this effect. And of course, that was out of necessity because I had done that below. So I like that it revealed some of the darker red and some of the blue because those kind of got lost in the process. And of course, this has a lot of metallic in it, so it's going to be really shimmery when it's dry. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that result. So a lot, a lot of white over here. You get some pink because of the red mixing with the white. And this is kind of cool. This looks like a little bit of a slice of a geode. That's pretty neat. And of course, back to the little white cells. Overall, uh, it didn't really do the open cup effect that I had hoped. But also, I haven't... I don't think I've really tried that with pre-mixed pouring paint before. So I'm not quite sure how well that works. Also, I used a different kind of cup type thing, so might have to do some further experiments. Either way, I'm really happy with how this turned out and look forward to trying some more similar paintings in the future. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to click the bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great weekend and a happy holiday if you are celebrating and a great rest of your day.